hello everyone it's uh, 8 30 on a Saturday morning uh, happy Ramadan to uh, all of you that are celebrating Ramadan so I'm fasting but as per Ramadan just because you're fasting doesn't mean you stop continue with your life just remember those in need etc okay and uh, of course remember the teachings of the Quran um, okay, so today's video, I've got another blind purchase at uh, BCA. Shall we see? Have I bought the manta? Or is it going to be a little gem? It's going to be a very high mileage Auris hybrid. So fingers crossed. Here we go. Collected my collection card. There's the young man taking my card. He's going to fetch the car for me, and uh, I just wait, and it will come here. Oh, I was getting worried, but here she comes. Ah, oh. perfect. Battery wasn't flat on it, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Better not turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Thank you, brother. Okay. Okay, so here she is. She doesn't look so bad. Um, so the battery was uh, flat, the auxiliary battery. So that's why it took a little bit of time to uh, get it back. But uh, managed to get it in one piece. So let's have a look at the uh, condition. So overall, bonnet's good, front bumper, slightly out of alignment there, not much I can do about it. It's a little bit of scuffing there, but not too bad. Wheels, tyres, really good. Discs, a little bit of rust on the surface, but there appears to be no lip there. And then the pads, oh, let's have a look. They're about 50% more, so that's all right. Uh, this lens is cracked. That's easy enough to do. If you saw my previous video on an Auris, Nice and easy and quite cheap, 20 quid for two of them from eBay. Uh, look at that, it's quite good isn't it? The doors, the rear wing, of course. Elephant in the room, it got a bit of a scratching there to the lower seal which I knew about and uh, obviously the paint has scraped off so I'm going to have to uh, touch that in and uh, let's see, I might have to spray that whole lower seal. Um, but yeah, no biggie. Uh, let's look at these tyres. That one is decent tyre. Got about four mils. Disc and pads on the rear are very good. Yeah. Don't know if you can see. There you go. Yeah, that's all right. Rear tailgate's good. Bumper is uh, not too bad. It's just some delamination there, but otherwise, pretty good. Let's look at the boot. Uh, yeah, typical. So there is usually this cover there, but it is the thinnest sheet ever. And 90% uh, of these arises don't have them because they just break in half within a few weeks of buying the car, really. So uh, yeah, that's why that is there. But obviously, it's easy enough. If you want to get a, one off eBay or just cut one to size yourself. But yeah, that's all right. Uh, spare wheel. Uh, I'm sure it's there underneath space saver if it's not I've got a spare at home lights actually look like they've been recently replaced these look too new they've probably been replaced because um, these are common for having uh, water ingress in them so I'm not surprised um, on this side there's a bit of a scuff there it's all right the rest of the body on this side is uh, pretty good there's a bit of a scuff that will I can use my magic eraser to get rid of that some little odd little stone chips here and there that's to be expected this one's pretty good and this side right this looks a lot it isn't as bad as it looks is what I mean it's a bit like me I don't I'm not as bad as I look trust me but yeah this is just on the surface there so I can magic eraser it but there's no getting away from this bit here that's gonna have to be touched in as will that bit there but otherwise yeah there's some scuff marks there um, on the bumper and uh, this tyre will need changing <laughs> it passed the MOT literally less than a few weeks ago I don't know how because uh, 
to be honest, okay, they may well say it's just on the legal limit here. Um, so three quarters of it, if it is, then it passes. It is on the advisory, but literally on the edges there. It's uh, totally bold. Look, just there and there. Anyway, that is a matter of opinion, I suppose. But anyway, I'm not going to set it out like this. I'm going to get this changed. Um, uh, let's have a look at the discs. A bit like the other side. So it hasn't been driven in a while, so you've got that's why you've got the rust on the surface there of the disc. But once it's driven for a little bit, we'll be fine. Oh, slightly out of line, but uh, gonna have to leave that as it is. Can't do anything about that. Probably glue it back in or something. Let's look at the back. Seats are actually uh, tidy order. This car has done 131,000 miles, so overall, it's uh, pretty good. It's basically been used for by a guy who has a business so that's why but look door cards everything's good oh you see the stereo has got a bit of a damage there that side it's all right headlining headlining's nice and clean oh surprising so overall in the back not bad in the front it's not the same story i'm afraid oh something don't sound right with that fakely badged alpina by turbo bye bye it should be called a bye bye turbo by the sounds of it oh well anyway the passenger seat is good dash etc not bad at all but a bit of wear there where he's been resting his elbow and then maybe he was a little bit of a big boy you got look bit of a rip on the uh, bolster but coming in and out 130,000 miles and literally this is the only seat that's been used in the car so I'm not surprised and obviously there's a bit of wear on the carpet but obviously I'll put some mats in and then oh he does a, the previous guy I liked resting his elbows look one elbow there one elbow here so he's kind of worn this bit a little bit goodness but anyway it's all working. Shall we look under the hood? So under the hood. Gosh. Needs a bit of a clean, doesn't it? Probably dusty, but other than that, everything else is all hunky dory on it. So uh Yeah, it just needs a good clean and that's about it. There doesn't seem to be any uh Discernible leaks or anything like that. Let's have a look. No, no, all the fluids are all. Well, that could. That'll need topping up. That one's on full, so that's fine. So, yeah, the rest of it's uh, pretty good. And this is where you need to um, check for all the uh, chassis legs, make sure they're all straight. Yep. All of it looks straight and good thing about um, Toyotas, if you've seen my previous videos, you can uh, check if they're original by looking at the uh, bin plate number. They're on all the major panels, including the uh, bonnet, so you can check even if it's been resprayed, as long as it's the original part for the car. Uh, you know, it's uh, nice to know, isn't it? Let's look at the oil. nice and clean oh good stuff and it's at the right level so that's good all right happy days so under the hood it's all good just need a little top up there good stuff let's have a little drive so it pulls off nicely the noise from the engine's good there's no um, marks Oh, sorry, marks, noise is coming, uh, undue noise is coming from the suspension. So suspension's all good. Brakes are sharp. Yeah, good stuff. Pulls off nicely. Let's see. Up the hill. Good. Very good. So, she drives nice. Brakes well. No noise is going on. Good stuff. So... Driving wise, fantastic. <laughs> so we saw she drives good. There's no uh, warning lights. I'm a bit concerned it's low on fuel, but the battery is low, so I can't 
turn the car off, unfortunately. Oh dear. But anyway, this is all nice. And service history, well, it's got loads of Toyota service history up until 2021. And then the previous owner serviced it locally at 128,000 miles at this service station here last year. But look, this is what I mean. You know, the main dealers aren't always that expensive because look how much he got charged. So 172 uh, he got charged for the interim service. And for this car, because it is the age it is, you could get a silver service done at Toyota main dealer for 230 quid. I know that's £50 more, but it's at the main dealer and they'll do the hybrid health check, etc. So, um, and at Gem Car, they have really nice coffee machines. So, uh, have a few coffees while you're waiting, you know, make up for that extra 50 quid. Um, so yeah, sometimes, uh, just double check what the main dealer will charge for your car because, uh, it might not actually be that much different um, from what a local garage charges. But yeah, so it looks like it's got full history to 128,000 miles. Um, and it's done 130,500. So good stuff. Happy days. Does the uh, stereo work? Oh, it does. All the fans work and everything. Um, I've tried all the... etc so there you go happy days it's a one previous owner car so two altogether so it was a uh, uh leased by uh, this gentleman and then he bought it so uh, there you have it it's a nice basic car but i'll have to decide what to do about this uh, driver's seat other than that that's it happy days good little car this and can just give it a good clean and uh bung it up for sale and hopefully if I can make around, what, three, five hundred quid, three to five hundred pound, it'll be a good day's work, I suppose. Let you know how I get on. Take care, everyone. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.